Hey everybody, what's going on? KSA Chris here. Just want to do a quick video to give you some ideas. So, question. What's one of the coolest things that are going on right now and something that you could leverage in order to bring in more opportunity or at least create more brand awareness? Um, there are a lot of things, if you take that question to heart, that you could probably think of, but I'm going to talk about one specific thing that we did that might be able to help you out. So, right now, it's a big thing, especially in a market that we're in, wine. Everybody likes wine. Um, I'm, I, I like wine. I wouldn't say I'm like a wine uh, connoisseur by any stretch of the mind. I mean, I know there's red ones. I know there's white ones. I know there's some plum ones. My wife likes the plum ones. Um, I, I don't know outside of that. I drink it. I can tell when they taste good, and I can tell when they don't taste so good. But I do know a lot of people like wine. So we sat down and started trying to think of a way that we could actually get uh, our information out there and push our brand and also create something that's good for the local community. So we actually started a wine club. That's right. So one of the things that we did is uh, we, we did some research. We started talking to some other people that are already ran, running wine clubs. And we also started going out and meeting all of the different vineyards that were around our area. Um, after we kind of had some basic knowledge, the next thing we did, we started looking at what charities are around our local area that we could probably benefit and definitely something that we believed in that we could get behind and we basically started creating a wine club so we went out we created some digital marketing through our, our design guy and we started uh, we created a Facebook page we did it all through Facebook and we wanted one in ten we want to find a way to bring people together every month to meet hang out you know different people in the local community that probably see each other online um, and I don't know if I did if I've done a video about this but back in the day uh, I remember even watching the Flintstones. The Flintstones was pretty cool when I was younger, and you know, uh, Fred and Barney used to always go up to you know the lodge, and they would hang out and do their stuff, and that was like a thing. That was people's social clubs. So the social club back then was, uh, you know, whether it was Rotary or the Koalas or the VFW, they were social clubs. So people, that was the way that they engaged with other people that they didn't normally see through their day-to-day -day life. Now things have changed. Now we have social media. With social media, the club has become the Facebook group. So in our local market, we have one. It's called FOF, Friends of Fallbrook, and there's a whole bunch of other ones. And that's where everybody kind of gets in to talk, communicate, you know, what's going on. That's where I pick out a lot of my lunch uh, spots. Yesterday, I saw a post that says, yeah, they're doing this lobster thing right at the street. So I, I drove up the street and hung out with everybody. Um, that's becoming the new social club. So we're like, what can we do to get people off, off of the Internet and bring them out into public to actually hang out with all the people that they met on the Internet? And we came up with the wine club idea. Next, we came up with a, a, a charity. We went and reached out to that charity and said, look, we're going to do this thing, this wine club thing. And we're going to invite a whole bunch of people in the local community. We want you to show up and introduce yourself. And we're going to be saying that this wine club meetup is for you, your charity, and to raise money for what you're doing. So we're going to ask people to donate to your cause. But not only are we going to meet up and hang out, but we're going to meet up and hang out with a purpose. We're going to meet up and hang out with a purpose. So then next, we actually started getting to work. We started putting out there, KSA Wine Club, come check us out. This is where we're going to be meeting. We started going to the vineyard and said, hey, we're going to start bringing 20, 30, 40, 50 people to your vineyard on an off day, not on a weekend. We're going to do it on a Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Well, Wednesday, Thursday is usually when we do it. We're going to bring them on an off day if you can find a way to exclusively set up your, your venue for us so we can expose your venue to all of these new people. And if you could find a way to create, you know, huge discounts or something for us, so it's not, you know, everybody's coming and maybe for spending five to twenty dollars, they could do a lot of drinking and, and communicating, it'd be great. And that's exactly how we set it up. So we lined up all of the players, and then we started producing the marketing. The marketing was free after we did the design work. The design work cost us, I think, like twenty-five bucks. And then after people started hearing about it and then experiencing it, then they started telling their friends, and it started growing on its own. While they're there. Of course, we're pushing us in our brand. We're local real estate agents. We're putting together this event to raise money for charity, to bring awareness to the local vineyards, and also to get you offline and to get you to meet each other in person. And it was extremely successful. It's extremely successful. We're getting ready to spin it uh, back up in a big way uh, right now because we're right back at that season. And uh, that was one idea of many ideas that we put together that uh, you know have worked out well for us. So what I would say first... Figure out something that everybody that's that's that that people like to do. Next, find a way to build in some type of 
community involvement, something that's going to be beneficial to the community that, that, that you're in. Third, find a way to help a business get exposure by backing whatever it is that you're thinking about. And last, create a way to go out there and reach out to people that are online to get them off the couch and get them to hang out face to face in person. If you do that, I believe you're going to get more deals and it's going to help you out and it's going to give you more brand exposure and show that you are the local area expert in real estate. Appreciate it. Do me a favor, like, share, comment. Uh, check out our YouTube page, The Real Estate Blitz. Check out our MySpace page, or MySpace, my goodness, our Facebook. Don't look at MySpace. Uh, our Facebook page, The Real Estate Blitz, same thing. And uh, I'll see you all later. Have a good one.